can you solve this math challenge? Here's the question. Solve for the values of x, y, and z that satisfies this equation. x plus y equals x, y, z. y plus z equals x, y, z. And x plus z equals x, y, z. Now you can pause this video if you want to give this problem a try. And now, let's answer this question together. Alright, so given this three equation, our goal is to solve for the values of x, the value of y, and the value of z that satisfies this three equation. Alright, so to answer this question is we will use first the first two given equation. So let's have x plus y equals x, y, z, and y plus z equals x, y z now on the first equation notice that if we subtract y on both sides we get the value of x as follows we have x y z minus y on the other hand if we subtract y on both sides on the second equation we get that the value of z must be equal to x y z minus y also they are just the same thing so we can say that x must be equal to z that is our first clue now how about our second clue so let's use this second and the third given equation now on the first equation why not subtract z on both sides if we do that we get that the value of y must be equal to x, y, z minus z. On the third equation, again, let's subtract z on both sides. And we get that the value of x must be equal to x, y, z minus z also. So again, we can say that y must be equal to x. Now, since x, we said earlier that x equals to z. So we can say that x equals y equals z and that is a big clue for us now let's use this clue to answer this question now let's get the first equation we have x plus y equals x y z now we know x equals y equals z so we can replace this y with its equivalent which is x and on the right hand side of our equation all of this must be equal to x x equals to x y equals to x and z also equal to x now, let's focus on this equation because this will give us the values of x, y, and z. So whatever values we get from x, this is also the value for y and that is also the value for z because they are all the same. Now, let's focus on this equation. Now, let's simplify this equation. We have x plus x. This will give us 2x. And on the right hand side, we have x multiplied by x multiplied by x. So this is just x raised to the power of 3. Now, to solve for the values of x, don't divide both sides by x. So we don't get all the values of x. So what we're going to do here is to equate this to 0. So this will give us 0 equals x cubed minus 2x. Now, we have here a common factor of x, so we can factor out x. This will give us 0 equals x multiplied by the quantity x squared minus 2. Now, using the 0 property, we can say that x equals to 0 or x squared minus 2 equals 0. Now, for the first value of x, we have here x equals 0. Now, how about the other values of x? We will use the second equation. Now, let's add 2 on both side if we do that we get something like x squared equals 2 now let's get the square root on both sides to solve for the values of x now take note that we have here an even exponent so we have two possible values here we have positive or negative square root of 2 now square root of x squared this is just x and on the right hand side this is just positive or negative square root of 2 now this is the values of x so we have three values for x we have x equals to 0 x equals positive square root of 2 or x equals negative square root of 2 
So the value of y when x is 0, y is also 0. When x is positive square root of 2 or negative square root of 2, y is also positive or negative square root of 2. Now, when x is 0, y is 0, z is also 0 because x equals to y equals to z. And if x and y are both equal to positive or negative square root of 2, z is also equal to positive or negative square root of 2. And that is our answer to this question. So what are the values of x, y, and z that satisfies this three equation? And our answer is x equals to 0, y equals to 0, z equals to 0. Or when x equals to positive or negative square root of 2, y also equal to positive or negative square root of 2, and z also equal to positive or negative square root of 2. And that is the answer. And as always, we are done.